Hi, this is uh, Dan Martin with Swing the Pro. I want to talk today about how you can stop chunking your chips. Uh, one of the things that's the most irritating thing I think in golf is uh, when you when you got a nice little simple short game shot and then you lay some sod right over the top of the golf ball. And it's really a simple phenomenon of really not understanding how a swing works. I always find with, with players that are struggle with chipping is that they've been caught up in the notion that they have to lean the shaft forward and they have to kind of push it and they have to create these they have to create these energies in the swing that actually make the leading edge dig into the into the ground. And what we really want to learn how to do is we want to learn how to let the swing hit the golf ball for you. And so I'm going to illustrate that with the pro here. So if we if we set up to with my pro here shrunken down and my uh, impact pad here, our swinging motion is basically about running momentum into an impact point. So where I'm going to struggle when I'm when I'm chipping is if I keep trying to shove the forward the handle forward, what happens is the momentum of the of the of the head starts to reverse. And then when the momentum reverses, your brain kind of freaks out and then it makes you kind of push back into it. So a lot of people even kind of call that the chipping yips basically. But what we want to learn how to do is lead the forward arm first and then allow the club to swing in. And that gives the illusion of what is called forward shaft lean. So if I'm doing that with the golf club, I'll illustrate that as well. When I make a chipping motion, I want to allow the swing to come through and strike the golf ball. If I try to put force on the shaft early or try to force it ahead, what happens is the club starts to spin around its center of mass. And that's, and that's what makes our brains kind of freak out. And then we grab it really fast and then put a chipping motion uh, or a shoving motion into it. When I use something like the Pro here, which we have a non-rigid shaft, I'm, st I'm, stuck, I'm stuck with the laws of physics. I have to understand that swinging something is learning how to lead and then let the energy release. So I want my lead arm to accelerate, and then I want the, to release that energy. And so that looks much more like this as I'm coming through. So it looks like the shaft is staying ahead of the, the head, but what's really happening is I'm coming in here and accelerating my lead arm. The shaft naturally falls behind, and then as I let it swing, it just catches back up. So it would be far better if you're a chunker of chips to actually learn to let the handle or let the... Uh, club head sweep through like so with a free light grip as opposed to trying to like shove it into the golf ball. And so I'll demonstrate here with, with hitting a few chip shots. So if I'm a guy that chunks chips, I get up to the shot and then I try really hard to accelerate the handle and so I get shots like these. And so I kind of like run into the, I run into the ground and it kind of bounces, either bounces into the ball and blades it or if it's really soft turf, then it'll actually create a, create a really sharp divot. But if I learn how to let the swing hit the ball, and then the bounce of the golf club will actually work pretty naturally for me, I actually feel the club head, as my arm begins to slow down, actually pass slightly past my hands. And when that happens, it's very, very difficult to have, a, have nothing but a really, really simple chip, a really clean contact. And you'll know you're really doing this well as you'll actually see a little bit of action on the ball, especially off firmer lies. So in review, if you're chunking your chips, your biggest problem is you're trying to force short forward shaft lean instead of allowing the swinging energy to work for you. So if you pick yourself up a pro today you, and, and practice this wrecking ball drill, as I call it, because it's just like the crane dragging your wrecking ball, you can learn how the physics of the swing work. And once you start to learn how to apply that to your short game shots and your chip shots, you're going to learn how to hit those really solid, crisp shots that have a lot of spin.